I didn't know if they were shared in the time that I had been gone. But I'm sure you'll get to them faster than me, just like somebody got to the record button faster than me. I'm not sure That's... who recorded, because I did not. It, it might have been Matt. I... He might have come back and hit record when I said that. <laughs> Oh, I guess today I learned three uh, ghost jokes. Ghost um, jokes? Yes. You learned yes. this from your offspring, didn't you? I did. Yeah, uh, offspring of are excellent for <laughs> for that kind of like joke. What did, What did one ghost say to the other? Boo. Hey, beautiful. Uh, oh. That would be like. What's a good what 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 kind of pickup lines do ghosts use? Hey, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice iteration on that. Yeah. 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 Another one was, uh, what room does a ghost not need? The booth room. The living room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're on a roll. You're on a roll. Okay. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. What cake do ghosts like the most? I'm not going to guess. Ice cream cake. Ice, uh, ice cream cake. <laughs> that is excellent. We're leaving these in the recording just so you know. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. our community. No, no editing whatsoever. But um, so uh, I have some news about the value group that I thought I would uh, uh, announce. We're doing value or common today? Common, right? I have some news about the common group. Okay. Um, and we talked about it in the general meeting and we've decided to change the name to uncommon. Okay. What day is it, Georg? <laughs> April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is my first. That was my first April Fool of the day, because my children are at home. <laughs> We're leaving that in too, just so you know. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Howdy, folks. I am all muted because my, my husband is also having a meeting right now. Good to see you guys. That's all right. Then I won't retell the jokes so you don't disturb him laughing. I was I'll just telling quietly. awesome. <laughs> I was just telling ghost jokes. Do you want to hear them? I think I think if, um, I will pause the recording if you're going to retell it. If we if we have time, our agenda for this week is posted at the top of the meeting minutes, which have been added, and uh, they begin with metrics to release in this cycle. Which I think I don't recall the extent to which we identified those last time. I think last time we spent a good deal of time finishing editing one metric. So, and I don't know if the, has the group been through the metric tracking sheet? Oh, and I will um, share this. I don't know if the group has been through the metric tracking sheet recently uh, to see the status of a value working group uh, issues, but we have several listed as in progress. And one listed is pending, and I pending is quite above in progress. So, so are we doing value or common right now? Jeez, man! Oh, dude, I am back. If you, I am, I am having a hard time getting the working group that I'm in correct. Yes, this is the common working group, and I am sharing entirely wrong link 
which somebody previously shared the correct link. Uh, so I will. So how, how's Sean uh, doing? Sean's doing terribly. Um, he keeps <laughs> thinking this is the value working group, but we don't know what's wrong with the guy. Um, so this is the actual link to the common minutes, I believe. Common. Chaos common. So yes, I can take been, over. Uh, go for it. <laughs> so, um, so I think Don will be back in two weeks, but I think it might be useful to set a facilitator for the next meeting. So would anybody, if Don isn't here, would be willing to facilitate the next week meeting? I, I certainly would be given how well I've done so far. <laughs> That's <answers>. right. <laughs> history. <laughs> what, what's the story? Like I history need a predict. <laughs> I'm like Bill Buckner. I need a second chance. All right. Well, I don't think he got a second chance. No, so, they killed his dog. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. So action items from prior. Let's see if we have any action items from the prior. I don't think we did. I'll even go back to March 4th, maybe. Um, I think really right now, um, what we're looking at is really just trying to progress the metrics that are below. Um, nonetheless, could you, Sean, could you head over to the GitHub repo and let's take a look at any open issues? There's a link right there. Yep. Jeez. So. Check me start at the top or the bottom. Ah, uh, you just start at the stop. Stop at the top. Uh, so I, I did the rhyming. Here, do you? Can you? I see you on this in a relatively recent. Oh, <laughs> Karen's gone. <laughs> uh, so there's. Are there different styles of metrics or different ways that when they're referred to, they are characterized differently? Let's take a look here. Yeah. So we look at the the just the released metric site. Let's take a look at what uh, Ritik had put in. Okay, inconsistency in referring images. Oh, I see. So he's talking about, I think in the markdown, like how images are being called. You're nodding Elizabeth, so you're reading it the same way. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say this is almost a website question, I think, or issue, but so we could probably somebody, also fix it here. Did somebody, uh, in, it looks like somebody inserted HTML like tags in some cases. Yeah, so if you view the raw markdown on this, yep. And then, like that right there, the auger burstiness, like how that the PNG reference right there. Mm -hmm. is inconsistent with how like other markdown pages are referring to images. Uh, Does that make sense? I think the difference is the... What, what? It, and then Gayor oh. recommends... What What's the difference? Well, okay, so you see like line 53? Yeah. Okay, so then go back to the issue, the original issue. and click on say time to close and then click on that mark that yep and the way that the image is referred to there straight up https link not so it, it calls for, out yeah and then others are like relative within the github repo right you know like there's an image directory i'm guessing or something like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. And the image is uploaded there. So, yep. so Ritik, yep. I think, is just if you go back to the original issue. Mm -hmm. Back one more. So he's just saying, here are four examples of how references are inconsistent. Does this make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. it completely makes sense. 
And then Georg down below is just recommending that style. Mm -hmm. That would be the typical markdown style. I think so, the, only, okay. the, only, the only question is if that has any effect on how Kevin is doing the conversions to, to the website. And I suspect it doesn't. Can you write, can you tag Kevin in yep. this issue? Just to get his input. And then maybe Elizabeth, like this could just be some one of the things like the README conversation where fine, it just originates in common and then we just cascade it to the other working groups once Kevin kind of chimes in. Yeah, I think it's part of that bigger effort to standardize and kind of clean stuff up a little bit. So yep. yeah. Yeah. And I, I think what we I just think what we clean it up to if there is a difference in what happens when Kevin creates the website, we should go with whatever that is. Yeah, I'd hate to clean it up into something that's not useful to Kevin. <laughs> or makes Kevin's job even harder and more labor intensive. But yeah, I, I suspect so, either so, one would be the same. Yep. So I Gary, we just, we're taking care of this issue that you were commenting on. We're kind of, we're fine with what you propose. We just tagged Kevin to make sure that it works as he's pulling things into the website. You might know too, to be honest with you. Yeah, changing the image tags to the markdown way of pulling images is not gonna break anything. Okay, yeah. As long as we follow the uh, folder structure. Mm -hmm. Which is the images folder. And then, is that what you're talking about? And then the- Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and, and moving the image folder would also break the HTTP versions because they're following a path that goes to the same place. The, so we will have multiple images folders. There's not a single images folder. Right. Every One. focus area has its own. Yep. And by having the relative paths, everything will work fine, uh, both on the markdown in GitHub and on the website. Okay. Okay, so and it's... one change that Kevin and I made on the last release is that we are pulling all metrics from master always because we were switching back and forth to pulling only released versions and then things were going under review and got changed and we didn't know about it. It was so much overhead that we just moved it to always pulling from master. So basically, I'm also making a comment. There's going to be an images with an S folder within each working group. Within or, I'm each sorry, within focus each area. focus area. Yep. Yes. Okay. And so this is actually solved in common. So this is just something we should carry forward. Right. And I just did a quick quick scan of the focus areas in common, they all had images. I don't know if all the metrics follow that relative pathing though. No, we'll have to, that can be a, a cleanup task. Okay, look it up. Thank you. And we can leave that task to our active Google sum of code aspirants or later students. We don't have okay. to do this. Okay, all right, uh, thank you for that. So um, there's another another issue. Another issue, and it's actually 102. Oh, so, so the release gonna, notes are a can, can yeah. standard one. And then new these metrics. are just new metrics. Those are all straight. So really the only one of, yeah, that one. So this is um, just what it says it is. Standardized structure. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're uh, actually Yash may have fixed some of these image inconsistencies. So 
there's probably would it be... a pull request waiting for us from her from Yash. It might be. So is there a there is no template document I'm looking at UK org. Is there that kind of says this is how repositories, at least for working groups, should look? There is yeah. actually. Where is um, that? It is referenced in the notes from the last uh, community meeting, I believe. I know I think it's also linked to at in the first message on yeah, this isn't issue. There a, isn't there see this document to know details about proposed repo structure? Oh yeah, oh. right there. Ta-da. Look at that. This is the one. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, probably this is probably worth dropping into an issue in each of the metrics work. Um, yeah, metrics working groups. We already have that. Okay. Well, I got nothing to say then. <laughs> you got everything done. Um, well, I mean, maybe while we're here, Sean, what are the comments in this document that currently? Are there comments in this document um, that will uh, change the uh, structure of it? Oops, I don't think so. I think they're principally affirmative. Okay. Um, some questions about hyphenation, GitHub Actions, implementing GitHub Actions was a suggestion Georg made. I, I don't disagree with that. I would suggest that that be a phase two after we actually implement it. Unless, Can you make that comment? Yeah, let's see. Make sure they don't violate these guidelines. So, unless it's super easy to implement that GitHub action, and I haven't tried to do that yet. I have no idea. I don't even know if GitHub Actions is the right thing. I just thought, hey, we have a structure that is pretty consistent. We can easily find out if there's any wrong namings or if their images are, yeah, whatever. Gotcha. There are some things that we can check automatically and just having that little reminder on every pull request would I think be helpful because the what, what we have found, I didn't even think of this initially, is having the standard structure then allows us to automate the release better because we can have the same procedure across all working groups later. Okay. So Georg, for Vinod's comment, I don't think reading that that requires any change to the template. Is that correct? You were just responding to his comment. No. We're following right? GitHub. Yeah. I'm just thinking yeah. we, if we could close this. Yeah. yeah. And same with me. And what is the yellow? Why is there highlighting? I don't know. I highlighted that because it's something that. This will require the most. To do. This will require the most cleanup because for any group that's been. Pretty group, so like in evolution, we've sort of kept a stable of metrics that are partly developed that we want to I... develop someday in Markdown. So we just have gotcha. to move those all to Google Docs. So just deleting them doesn't accomplish the goal. It throws away actual work. Although we could get, we certainly could get back. Um, so this is ultimately, this is just basically saying anything we're tracking like in our minds should just mm -hmm. be in the spreadsheet. We yeah. don't use the repository for tracking random thoughts. Right. Okay. Yeah, like when, when I do evolution in this, my intention is to create a, a branch called archive in each of them and then make all the edits and master. So if I accidentally delete something later, I realize that we want, it's not gone. It, it's never gone forever, but it's easily accessible. Yeah, I mean, I'm also... all... Go ahead. Go ahead, Kev, or Kevin. Go ahead, Georg. <laughs> we can also tag the commit before making the change. 
-hmm. so that we have that accessible without a branch using that might releases. be deleted. Yeah, using releases. We discussed that yesterday as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sean, for showing us yeah. your screen. No problem. Let's go take a look at that PR that is associated with well, this I don't know. I, maybe. Uh, it looks like inconsistency referring to images, but that's not what we were looking at. We were looking at text. Okay. Let's click the pull request thing. Yeah. And I've reviewed it and I think it's good. So this is just referring to the how to refer to images thing that we talked about later. So your comments are not really change requests, Georg. They're just comments. They have all been addressed, okay. I think. I would suggest we merge this pull request. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Moving right along. Yay, celebration. One more repository that is following the standard. Which ones are following the standard right now? Do you know off the top of your head? I think common is the first one that is fully following it. Uh, diversity and inclusion and value are close. And then risk and evolution are the furthest away, away from following it. Ones that I facilitate, if I can. Sure, we can make that correlation. I think so. All right. The correlation uh, and causation are different. Let's not forget that. I love you being here, Beth. Thank I you. Think I think like of being here too. I think if Sean had proposed the uniform structure, then it would be the reverse. Probably yeah. so. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> More likely not, though. I tend to not get to this stuff very fast. All right, let's, Sean, if you could return to the agenda, which you have. Yep, I have. So there are a couple. I'm going to skip the progress on current metrics. That just takes us to the spreadsheet. So there are a couple metrics that have been slowly working their way forward. Mm -hmm. as you see there. Um, we can take a look really anywhere at this point. Um, I think the first one is the most well-developed. I could be wrong. So this is time waiting for submitter action. It does look pretty well developed. So I have a question for people. We always seem to struggle with this on all of our metrics. To this one is you not wait, this is not very well developed. Nope. And then the last one is more developed. So what does time waiting to for submitter action mean to you? Just the title, don't read anything. <laughs> what do you think you're getting into? I, th I think I'm waiting, if I create an issue, for example, I think it's how long I wait to get a comment or some discussion going on the resolution of that issue. Submitter action. Oh, it's an well, interesting actually, one. Submitter because, action, that's different, actually. Yeah, to me, that is when we have a pull request, there's the submitter who initially submitted it. And then there might be a review. And then after the review, we were waiting on the submitter to take action on that. That's where I see this. Yeah. You're right, that is what it is. And that is an important 
factor because many times submitters who are at, who are given reviews that request changes do take a period of time to resolve them. Okay, so I agree with that. I think Sean agrees. Elizabeth or Beth, do you also kind of read it that way? Yes. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So based on that, could we take a look at this metric? Going in with that mindset, <laughs> that knowing, because lots of times we go into the metric, I'm afraid, and we start doing edits and we have five different mindsets <laughs> doing edits on the metric. Yes. It happens. And then we're all editing and it's it creates a fairly divergent. <laughs> it's a little difficult to, to bring things together at the end. So maybe like always, we could take 10 minutes and spend a little time hanging out with this metric personally, individually, and come back if that's okay for everybody. I'll pause the recording. Sounds good to me. Actually, I can't pause the recording because I've been oh. booted as the host. I can pause the recording. All right. Recording has resumed. So do people have any maybe outstanding questions as they were moving through the document that they'd like to talk about? Anything, anything? I think my only, can... my only comment would be is if we want to incorporate some indication of the amount of conversation, but that, because it's an interesting piece of information for like if your average goes way up, it could in a month, it could literally be because one pull request had a ton of discussion before the submitter <clears throat> decided to act on it. And perhaps you could add that as a filter. Yeah. Or, did you have a comment? I was just going through and accepting changes. Actually, it's kind of in there. I did have one question under objectives, the third bullet point with respect to onboarding and mentoring. I don't understand how this helps that. Well, somebody... if you, if there is a good onboarding process, then the submitter is unlikely to submit a pull request using a style scope in a dependency or other factor that the community already recognizes it will be rejected or requested or changes will be requested on it. So, so how's that different than the first bullet point there? The number of people involved in review or are we- No, I'm stage? looking at obje objectives. Um, I think the focus is, go ahead. Okay. For me, it means that the the critique or the requested changes have been provided in a way that makes sense and is is more of a guiding. Um, they're they're communicated well and in a in a guiding sort of way and not just like change this. You know, like they're clear and they're they're more of like a mentor would tell you exactly kind of what you need to do to fix it. And so that would reduce the time taken. If you just say, change this and don't give them any guidance or, or okay. help them, then it's a lot longer. That's my personal feeling. Okay. Georg, did you have a comment too? I, I'm in line with what Elizabeth said that, yes, there is similarity, but the focus is here on improving the onboarding and mentoring. Okay. Okay, in an effort to kind of improve efficiency in this process, I'm guessing. All right, thanks. So I'll suggest, uh, would anybody like to take this on as an action item and bring this to the group in two weeks? Kind of as a polish. 
Yeah, yeah near near completed. I mean, Georg's kind of doing it right now just by <laughs> accepting all things, which is part of the part of the fun of being the person who has the action item. You just get to look like you're doing a lot of work. <laughs> um, would anybody like to take on that action item for two weeks from now? To I can I can this do out. it. I can do it. So time waiting for submit or action. Sean will work this smooth. Thank you, Sean. And and then the hope would be is that you present it like in two weeks, not present yeah. it like that, but just bring well, it to the. Here's what here are the edits based on what we accomplished yeah. today, um, and I always find it helpful to. It might be helpful to like as you're doing that like identify any discrepancies that might exist like between the description section and the filter section or something like that you know just if you like name a ver if you name a version and then go ahead and make edits people can make a direct comparison between so mm -hmm. whatever what it exists right at this moment can be compared to what i end up with if people want to know if you know create any kind of mysterious or national security Anything that threatens national security by, by the changes that I make, it'll be visible. Sounds good. That sounds yeah. really, really good. Thank you. Sure. All right. Look at that. Ta da. I think we reached we time. Slowly meandered till 10 50 US Central Time. <laughs> we really nearly completed a, a metric, though. And signing up to complete the metric was really kind of a, oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I will complete this basically finished metric. So the other thing that we are going to have to add, and I'll add it right now, is contributors. For all the new releases, we would like to track contributors mm -hmm. to the metrics. So we can start building that out next week. All right, cool. All right. Everybody have a very pleasant Thursday. Yes, likewise to you, all of you. Enjoy April Fool's Day and may it not be so foolish to you or whatever. I don't know. Perfect. All right. Later, hey. everyone. Hey, you have uh, a second? Day. Thank you. Yes, so, Kevin. Who are you asking for a second, Georg? No, uh, Kevin. I Kevin and I want to for a second. I want right. to talk about the relative links issue. I'm going to leave meeting, not end meeting. Get, and give, give Georg the one of them. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leadership. Bye. Uh, I'm Georg, you are now the host. Awesome. Thank you. I'll stop the recording.